used to soak it with the, the purple skin on because I thought the purple skin gave it a, a bad flavor. Um, and when I took it out of the water, um, oh, Kathy told me to smile. Hi, Kathy. Um, uh, when I soaked it with the, the purple skin on it, it would, uh, the water would turn black. Well, as, um, as it turns out, even if I do peel it and I soak it in the salt water, um, to remove whatever paint-like flavor um, uh, lingers, it's it also turns black. So it's kind of a mystery of chem of, of food chemistry, but it's okay because it turns out great. So I soak it anyway um, before I cook it for probably two hours, and right now it is two thirty in the afternoon. Hopefully, we'll have dinner before. Um, uh, 8.30 tonight, William. All hot. And now I need to slice some cheese to go on top. And I, I, I really hate to admit that I use cheater sauce, but I have to say that this is the best ever jarred sauce in the world. Classico roasted garlic. We put the, the mozzarella in the freezer to make it easier to, to slice thinly. And I won't show the slicing, but this is the hint. We always put cheese in the freezer to make it easier to manage, whether we're grating it or slicing it. And I use newspaper underneath pa paper towels to save on paper towels. So the um, the food doesn't get newspaper print cooties on it. <laughs> Which um, you could you could just say I'm a Yankee, so I can't help myself. I grew up in upstate New York, but I turned into a Yankee, and I'm um, thrifty. We don't like to say cheap. It's not cheap. It's thrifty. Aren't these beautiful? They're beautifully browned. And unfortunately, for those of you who have viewed my other stack mm. recipe, might be bored and you might think that we live on eggplant, which is partially true. <laughs> but it, somehow we love it, so it do, really doesn't matter. Hi, Sue. Mm. Hi, Tina. I know that Tina and Sue are our most faithful, faithful followers. I don't know who else follows us. Oh, Janie. Hi, Janie. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> I tried to smile, but I just couldn't. Kathy said on my la on my last vid cooking video that I should have smiled more. Once I once I go back to acting school, which I dropped out of last month, <coughs> we'll we'll try the smiling. Press it down. Press it down on the thing. Yeah, see, it's a little bit soft. It's okay. Just a tad more. Here comes a tad. Okay, tad away. Okay, unsweetened cocoa coming up next. We have that right here. Yep. And we're going to need How much? Uh, two tablespoons. Okay. It's such fun making bread in our ancient bread machine. How much is this? Is that one? Close enough. Is that yeah. one? Yeah. You need two. There's no such thing as too much chocolate. No such thing. Just level it off with your fingers. Yep, you got it. Oh, moving right away. Yay, oh, yeah. what else? I'll take it. I'll take it. 
we don't have any. So exciting ingredient is whole wheat flour. But we don't have Which any. We don't so have any of those bread flour That's instead. correct. How much? How many cups? Three cups total. Three cups. Whole wheat and regular. Yes. Add it together. Okay. And then we're going to play with the yeast. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, don't you have to put the oatmeal in? Oh, yes. Add in the oatmeal. <laughs> And now we're going to do the flour. Three cups. Total. I can tell you, okay. just from looking at this, that it is a disgusting looking mess in here right now. But it'll turn into good. Yes, what do you want? Well, can you take a close up of the yeah, mess? Yeah, we'll take a close up of it before I turn it on. Okay. And okay. moving right along here. Here's this one. Now, these, which look and like little gonna... dead bugs, these are raisins. We love raisins. We, we think we love raisins. We I know, sure. I love raisins. You, you eat all those raisins you, 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 you can just convert to raisins. If you drink that, eat that many raisins in your hand and drink a glass of water, you'll blow up like a balloon. Two thirds cup of um, nuts. Chopped nuts. Nuts. Okay. Nuts. There's no such thing as too much garlic or too much nuts. Right. I'm just, I'm just speaking my mind. This is a third. Yeah, and then you're have, gonna have a second third. Mm. Oh, this is frightening. This might, looks a little it, like... It might be good. It might be good. This looks a little like the bottom of a garbage can right now. Here you go. Be careful. Okay. Don't spill any. He drives me crazy. Okay, what Sorry, else you got? You quit. That's it. No. No, no, no. Did we do the... We didn't do the cocoa yet. <laughs> I did it. Wait, no, no. I don't think you did. No, you better smell in there and make sure there's cocoa in there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't it tastes like a cocoa. I delight. do not oh. trust you. Wait a minute. It's... Can I put the last one in, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You didn't. You didn't record it. Oh, oops. Oh, Bill, Bill, Bill. Okay, now what? Two tablespoons, uh, teaspoons. TSPs. Two TSPs of honey. yeast. Oh, yeast. Okay. Mmm, mm, this looks like a real mess in here now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's hideous. Where the hell's the yeast? But we've used this uh, bread maker many times in the past. We've got really excellent results, and sometimes not no. so much. It just depends. No. Yeah. But we'll show you the exciting part where we actually turn it on, and it starts to hum and rumble. It's great fun. It is. I only have one and these. a half eyes. Okay. Two. Two of these. I don't know. You 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 have the receipt. One. One. Yeast. Mm. Mm. Scaring me a little bit. Mm. Okay, give me that thing before you get carried away. Okay. Oh, oh yes I am. Okay. Well, there's the book. And here's what it looks like. Don't get too excited now. Oh. Do you swear to God you put cocoa in there? Doesn't that look like something you take out the bottom of a chicken coop? Mmm. <laughs> if the chickens weren't real healthy, mmm. You're disgusting. Well, you are totally we're going to put this disgusting. in. We're going to put this in, and I'm going to let you see us push the button. God, does that look disgusting? Okay, we'll be back in. A few hours. Okay, 45 minutes has elapsed. The meatloaf is going through stage one. We have many stages. This is a multiple stage meatloaf. And we have the next series of stuff prepared. It's coming out of the oven now. Partially cooked meatloaf. Isn't that okay. beautiful? So okay. 
What, Drain saying? off the accumulated fat, fat and arrange the bacon slices on top of the loaf. Hold on a second. Which we can do with our magic pan. Uh, this is going to fall apart when we take it out. So no. Just, just to go this yeah. way. Can't be that much fat in there. No, there isn't. Okay, that's good. We're draining off the fat, folks. It's all right. You don't want to see this. Okay, that's good enough. Up. That's good enough. You know what I would do? I would take the metal spatula and just kind of go around the sides a little bit, just to, you know, make it easier to take out. There's a there. there I'll do that one. Oh, that's cool. I don't want you to think that I can do this. I can't do this by myself. I can. <laughs> but my mate here is just. No, hard. I'm Susie Chef. I mean Sue Chef. We're going around. We're freeing up this gelatinous mass of crap. Here Bill, go. if it's crap, I don't want any part of it. Now. Oh, here, this is interesting. Okay. The bacon goes on first. Yeah, that's what I thought. For 15 minutes. And then we put the sauce on for another 15 minutes. I just want to let you know that uh, Francis is helping. Um, <laughs> this particular meatloaf <laughs> gets bacon on top of it at this point. Then it goes back in the oven. So we're partially going to do that now. cooked bacon. We partially cooked this bacon while you were all enjoying whatever you were doing. And here it is, been prepared by my assistant. Look at that wonderful partially cooked bacon. Just laying out the strips here. That's that's perfect. Exactly the right amount. Thank you, Francis. Okay. okay, we're back. We've been drinking, but that's all right. Um, we're to stage three now. This meatloaf. It's like replacing the heads on our boat. It's precision. Only better and more tasty. Now, we're going to pull this meatloaf out and add the final touch. Don't oh, forget your gloves. I think they're right there. Oh, there they are. It's, it's hot in there. Here we go. How does the bacon look? Not burned? It's starting to smell pretty good in here. The final uh, touch is to pour over a sauce, which is made of uh, chili sauce, some, uh, I think we use peach. Yeah. Apricot, Apricot preserves. preserves. It sounds disgusting, but it's actually pretty good. Well, cool. the recipe called for guava jelly, but we couldn't find any. So we... And a dash of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yeah. Right. So we pour this over the top. Oh, I hope this is getting on camera. Oh, yeah, it is good. <laughs> oh, Lord. And this is fairly thick stuff, you know? In fact, looks like more than we could ever use, but that's fine. There it goes. And then it goes back in the oven for another 15 minutes. That'll be a total cook time of an hour and a half. <laughs> Let's zoom some of that stuff out of there. That's enough for any five people. Oops. Okay, and we're ready to put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Why don't you jiggle it around a little bit to smooth it out? Francis is suggesting I jiggle it? No, not you oh, it. Oh, oh, okay. There it is. It's freshly jiggled. <laughs> I'm going to put it in if we can. Oh, you want me to get the... Oh, the door's open. Okay. Yeah, the door's open. Okay. minutes. Okay, another 15 minutes and I think we're done. Okay, time to take the uh, meatloaf out of the oven, finally. I'll be back in a second. There it is, if you can see it. Looks like a giant meatloaf pan covered with bread stuff on top. 
but I think it's going to be pretty good because we've done this before. Bake underneath. Next, it's going to be uh, mashed potatoes. We've got those ready to go. So um, rather than bore you with uh, mashed potatoes, uh, we'll just uh, call it a, call it a night here, and we'll report back later on how good this was. I think it's going to be really good, actually.